Unraveling, subject to understanding its use in English. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into a phrase that often pops up in both formal and informal English, subject to. You might have encountered it in legal documents, news articles, or everyday conversation, and its meaning can vary with context. In this video, we'll explore the different ways subject to is used and provide you with the knowledge to use it correctly in your own conversations and writing. So, let's get started and unlock the potential of this common English phrase. Subject to can be a bit tricky because it serves more than one purpose in English. Primarily, it can indicate conditionality or susceptibility. For instance, conditionality, the picnic is subject to weather conditions. Susceptibility, the schedule is subject to change. Both examples show that the subject, the picnic or the schedule, is dependent on another condition, weather or potential changes. It's important to note that when, subject to, is used in this way, it often suggests that the condition is outside of one's control. When you come across, subject to, in legal, business, or formal contexts, it generally implies a condition that must be met, a restriction, or an obligation. It's like saying, this is only applicable if the following terms are met or exist. Examples include, obligation, all employees are subject to the company's privacy policy, restriction, the offer is subject to availability. In these cases, subject to communicates that there are specific rules or conditions affecting how something applies or is implemented. It's easy to confuse subject to with phrases that have a similar ring but mean something completely different, like subjected to. Subjected to typically refers to being forced to endure something unpleasant. For example, the prisoners were subjected to harsh conditions. Understanding this distinction is crucial for proper usage, especially for English language learners who want to express nuances accurately. Knowing when and how to use subject to can greatly improve your English communication. Here are some tips. Always pair it with a noun. Subject to approval, subject to inspection. Remember, it implies a dependency on another factor or condition. Don't confuse it with subjected to, which implies an action done to someone or something, often without their consent. To wrap our heads around this phrase, let's look at a few more examples. Access to the club lounge is subject to club rules. Your eligibility for the loan is subject to credit approval. The validity of the coupon is subject to expiration on the 30th. These sentences illustrate the various scenarios in which subject to can be correctly applied. I hope this video clears up any confusion about the phrase subject to and you feel more comfortable using it. Remember, learning a language is subject to understanding these little details and you're doing great by tackling them one at a time. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing for more English language tips. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.